Hey guys, Riley here with Dark Arrow. Today I'm doing some work installing the wingtip lights in the wingtips themselves. I'm gonna let you follow along as I work. This won't exactly be a how-to video, but I'll try to explain what I'm doing as I go. So let's head over to the workbench and I'll show you my setup. To start out, I laid out everything that I need on my workbench. So I have the two molded wingtips, of course, as well as the wingtip lights themselves. I also have the mounting brackets that I'm going to be uh, fastening to the wingtips and then the fasteners that I'm going to use to fasten them in place and then I have the tools I need to accomplish that. First task is going to be laying out the dimensions for the position of these brackets. So it's basically a forward aft position and vertical position. And then I'm going to drill the holes into the wingtip to allow the wires to pass through and then also going to drill holes for the fasteners. So let's get into that. I laid out the positions for my holes, both for the wires and the fasteners. Forward and aft, I measured from the trailing edge here. And then uh, vertically, I used this parting line in the part to establish my vertical position. This is actually the uh, cord line of the wing there. Uh, kind of coincidentally acts as a nice reference feature for locating the wing tip lights vertically. So this is gonna be the position of my bracket. One quick tip I'll share with you guys. I found really useful when you're trying to mark on a carbon fiber or a dark surface like this. I use a silver Sharpie to kind of mark the rough location of my hole. And then I come back with a regular ballpoint pen and mark on there so you can uh, see better. Otherwise, it's really difficult to see a black line uh, on a black part. So one little trick I have for marking these. When drilling the holes for the wires, I'm going to use a, a larger step bit to get the big hole right here. And then just a, a regular smaller drill bit to do the holes for the fasteners. I drilled my larger hole for the wires to pass through and then I taped my mounting bracket in place and the idea here is I'm gonna use that so I can do a quick fit check before I drill the real holes okay so you can see what that looks like I basically align the trailing edge of the light with the trailing edge of the wing tip okay let's drill the holes I drilled the holes and I made them a little bit undersized and that allowed me to thread these stainless steel screws in, uh, basically thread it right into the tip and I can uh, hold it in place right now and install the wing tip light just to do the fit check again with actual fasteners. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna install these blind nut plates on the back side of the wing tip here and rivet them in place. And that will be the permanent install. Well, semi-permanent install, we'll call it. Uh, and then I'm gonna enlarge the holes so that the threads of these screws aren't engaging with the tip. I put the screws through into the nut plate, so they're held in place right now, they're positioned so that I can mash drill the holes, uh, two on each nut plate, and then I'll have to countersink the holes so that they're flush, and then I'll rivet them in place.
Okay, there's the bracket installed in the tip with the nut plates riveted in place. Let's see how the light fits up. Okay, snaps back into place and then there's a little set screw here that gets installed back here to keep this thing from flying off. That's the basic idea though. Let's go see how it looks on the tip of the wing. Here it is fitted up on the wing tip. The wing is still sitting inverted right now, so the curves might look a little funny. And you'll notice no fuel cap that's underneath. Just held in place with scotch tape right now. Same way we're going to do it on the final version. No, just kidding there. Uh, it'll get bonded in place. The tape is temporary just for the fit up. So, yeah, you can get an idea of what it'll look like in the final install. So there you go, that's the process that I went through to install the wingtip lights and the wingtips. Uh, next up, we're gonna be bonding this tip onto the wing and then connecting the electrical wires to the rest of the electrical system and powering them up and see what they look like for real on the wing. So that should be pretty exciting. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.